Hezbollah chief Hassan Nasrallah has made many bellicose statements against Israel in the past two months, threatening Israel that if the agreement on the potential delineation of maritime borders between Israel and Lebanon is not to Hezbollah's taste, it will engage in an escalation against Israel. And yet, in yesterday's statements, closing the 40th anniversary of the creation of the Shiite Lebanese Islamic uh, military and security organization, Hassan Nasrallah made no bellico statement, simply reiterating the need for an equation of deterrence between the two countries that Hezbollah can take responsibility about. And as Orange Miser, our cameraman, will show you now, all quite on Israel's northern front. Here on the right hand side, you can see the Lebanese territory penetrating into the hills of Galilee. On the left hand side, you have an Israeli village, obviously in Israeli territory. And in between, you have the 60-kilometer blue line running as the Israeli-Lebanese border and which is being buttressed now with a 9-meter cement wall separating the two countries. In the f background, you have the Mediterranean Sea, which is the issue of the negotiations, which are taking place under UN auspices and US mediation. Amos Ochstein, the US envoy, is planning to come back to the area by the end of the month. And the hope is that the two countries would reach an agreement on the delineation of the maritime border, especially regarding the gas rigs, uh, Karish for Israel and the potential gas rig, Kana for Lebanon by in the course during the course of September. Yet Israeli analysts are sounding the alarm right now, saying that there is a high probability that Hassan Nasrallah, in their terms, would engage in an escalation against Israel and commit to the same mistake that he did in 2006 during the Second Lebanon War. This is Pierre Kloschendler, I-24 News, Israeli-Lebanese border.